Hi there, my name is Jason, and this is going to be a project two of operating system. So in this project, we write a memory manager and then try to deploy it in a console program and then an Android app. So let's jump in the memory manager that I write in C++. So there are two main functionalities that we want to be able to allocate and then free memory. So the data structure I use for the memory manager object is mainly a vector that stores all the blocks. These blocks are a customized object I call node. So this block can be either empty or in a, an allocated memory tr chunk, indicated by this Boolean called hole. So if it's a hole, it's obviously free, and then otherwise it's a memory chunk allocated. So uh, let me go through the functions real quick. So initialize, we pass in the uh, size of the memory map, and then uh, what we're going to do is instead create a giant uh, empty node indicating the uh, hole as the whole memory map. Uh, and then for shutdown, we delete the memory that we allocate, uh, the memory that we're actually managing. So for allocate, um, we will update the uh, data structure, this vector of nodes, by um, taking into account the size and then call the fit function. So we have best fit and worst fit functions um, that will give us the offset of you know, where we should put this new node, this new block, uh, chunk of memory. And then uh, we're going to update the length of the hole that we put the memory in. Uh, where's that? Uh, here. And then we're going to put in the new node indicating the chunk of memory. And then we'll return the address of the actual uh, memory that the user might want. Okay. All right, that's the instruction. And then we have free. Uh, in free, we pretty much do the same thing, but we don't return anything. Uh, we are given an address. We convert it down to an offset, and then we find if the offset exists. If it exists, uh, we turn that memory chunk into a hole. So what happens is when we turn it into a hole, we have to merge holes. So we got to check the previous node and the um, uh, the following node. If they're both uh, holes. We got to merge them, and then we got to um, manipulate the length and stuff. It's all here. Um, and then we have set function that explains itself. And we have dump memory. So in dump memory map, we use a POSIX call that um, supposed to uh, accommodate other uh, Android programs. So um, uh, for some reason, the requirement was waived at the end, but uh, just for the console program, it still works. Uh, this, uh, this function will open up a file named uh, as the passed in input parameter, and then we create that file. If that file exists, we override it, and then uh, we make it write protective, and uh, this code uh, helps you uh, write the file in terms of bit streams. Uh, this is actually a whole map, so it, it uh, mmap is the whole map. So yeah, only if it's a whole, we print it out in the memory, dot memory map. Um, get list does uh, essentially the same thing, but instead it, it puts all the holes into a um, <coughs> into a Vector. Uh, this pointer has the first entry as the length, and then every two entries as the um, the the start and the length of the uh, the hole. So we use UN16 here because we want to store information two bytes. The maximum size is um, six five five three six. Um, so uh, UN16 actually satisfies the low Indian requirement. So that's what we do there. Uh, for get bitmap, um, we uh, we want to output the a bitmap as uh, using bitstream. So uh, the best way to do it is to store every eight bits in a byte. And then the uh, likely candidate for that was a UN8 uh, type. So we have a counter here eight. Um, for every new uh, bit that comes in, it's more significant than the last, so we've got to do a left shift and add it to the, um, the cumulative uh, byte. And we do that for every eighth, and then at the end we have a little round off. So we just attach zeros to the end. And that's where you get bitmap. Um, and then we have the fit functions. I think they're pretty straightforward. Um, now we explain that. So let's go ahead and, and run it. Okay, I actually have the, uh, the, files, the run files already made. So this is the library. I'm going to remove the already made library and just make it again. Um, and then there's uh, the code to include the library. So, yeah, there we have it. Uh, pseudo sample test. Okay. Yeah, all right. Uh, yeah, I, I edited the test file a little bit, but uh, yeah, it works. So, uh, our result matches. And so now let's take a look at the Android. So, for the um, Android, Android app part, uh, we wanted to write some MDK binding functions. So, they pretty much just invoke uh, whatever functions we wrote in Memory Manager, but then there are a lot of conversion that needs to be done. Uh, so, let's jump into it. So, for a Memory Manager, uh, yeah, why don't we just start the app and everything will. So briefly, the functions, uh, the ones I want to talk about. Um, so we want to free the memory. Oh yeah, actually I ran with a ball grind, and there's no memory leak. Um, so for this, uh, we want to delete. Uh, this is a destructor. So there's a free no, shutdown. So when we clear free memory, it actually shuts down the, it clears all the memory. So we want to update the data structure, the vector of those data structure. All right, uh, so our app is ready. Uh, I'll go through the functions real quick. Um, get free size and get use size uses the get list function. And then since the list has the first entry is the length, we just um, go down the list and then get all the holes, and then we will pull out its size. Um, and then add it to a local variable total, and then we free the memory and return total. Same for get size, just a complement of that. Um, allocate memory. So here's the tricky part uh, that um, took me a while to debug this. So we will return. Uh, we get a void pointer as the result from invoking allocate in memory manager, but this void pointer um, points to some uh, random values uh, in the memory. So we actually just need the value of this pointer and, and a string as a string. So we will use a string stream and then the converge to C string and then the converge to J string. So uh, that takes a while. And then a free memory, we just do the opposite as allocate memory. Um, we're given a J string and we want to convert it. Uh, into a void pointer. So uh, here, because our void pointer is flexible, it could be char pointers, it could be anything, any pointer. So we want to convert this char point. We convert this J string first to a char string, you know, a char pointer, and then char pointer then to a long int. Uh, this long int can be cast as an int, uh, int pointer, and then eventually um, convert to a void pointer. So at the end, uh, we can just free it and then release the memory. All right, let's see it in action. So I'm yeah, just going to add a bunch of memory, and then let's free three of these. And then since we're doing a best fit, um, this is going to be out of zero, out of four, and then we can free the zero, and then we can add it back. 
or whatever. Now let's read again and then let's do worst fit. Worst fit. Um, so worst fit is going to go into the largest chunk. So after 14, probably like 18. Yeah. Okay. And if we cl cl uh, clear it, it calls the shutdown in uh, native, native, native calls. So it will just start over. So we start over at zero. And then um, we want to make sure there's no memory leak. So um, here um, we, I just have to manually like eyeball all the uh, pointers that I used. Um, I cannot free this one because this is the actual content. So um, yeah, that's the only thing. And oh yeah, just something to mention. Uh, this is this will look exactly like the um, sample test code because I just borrowed it. Um, yep. And this summarizes P two. Uh, and then uh, let me talk a little bit about, about layering. So um, the system, these functions in the memory manager CDP uses um, system functions. Um, we literally have most of the code here, and then this layer just um, pretty much calls on the uh, memory manager layer, and then wraps it around with some string conversions. Uh, and then we'll be able to use that on the NDK uh, level. All right, this summarizes P2. Thank you for listening. You have a good one. Bye.